You scared Drake off completely. Oh, wow. We just going to jump right, right in there. So, <laughs> correct. I mean. He shook. He, you scared him. It looks, it looks to me, I've never heard from the man, never talked to him, but it looks to me like you scared him off. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I would, I mean, I, shit, I, my sentiments exactly. Mm-hmm. I got the same sentiments, you know. I mean, but, uh, you know, I, I just figured, I know he, he knows that I would never stop. Mm-hmm. You know, so I don't think he would want to risk that, take that risk anyway. Like he knows, like me, I would never, I would never stop. Never. You feel me? Like once, you <laughs> once you even if, anything, it's, it's I'm on your, I'm on your ass, neck, everything, pause, like, and it's gonna be, it's, it'll be dangerous for him. So you know, he knows that, and it's cool. I listen to his music. I like, I mean, you know, he just dropped a record or something. I, I listen to his shit all the time, like mm-hmm. Drake. So, your critique on. The move that Meek pulled with War Pain over Summer Sixteen. Okay, well, I don't really know the story behind that. What's because I know, like, they said the same things in the record. Because I know when they both dropped the same day, one was like, "Yo, I was down, I was downstairs." You knew, yeah. Meek said, "I was downstairs. You knew not to come down there and play with no real niggas." And Drake said some shit like, "We played we the this stand, record. You were staying right below." Yeah. So I don't know what what, what was the yeah, whole. Just, what was know. the thing? Well, of that? Drake dropped his first. And then oh. Meek responded with all that stuff in there. I thought oh. it was the other way around. I thought nah, Meek went first. Nah, and then Drake, Drake went first. Oh. And then Meek fired back with responses for almost everything that was in there. So they were at the same hotel? According in the to four seasons. Yeah, sure. That's why he said we about the front, front of the season looking like a football team. That's what he said. Oh, yeah. Well, so now the question is, pardon me, now that we yeah. got to clear it up, the question is my critique for Meek? As far as the strategy was concerned. I mean, I actually liked the I like that record. Like to I be honest, with I told you. you that that record was hard as a motherfucker. Yeah. I like that record. Like you know what I mean? Like it. It's just like it's one of them things where where it's like yo, it's hard, it's gonna be hard right now for me to 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 be able to to sway and we just use millions and millions <laughs> to sway people in yeah. that in that lane because yo, it's like. I it kind of already happened, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So now it's like, it's like people are not gonna receive it, uh, yeah, as well as well as they they would, you know what I mean. I think when it first started, they both had their own like um, capacity of fans supporting, you know, um, um, the whole, um, you know, I don't know if we want to call it beef or just you know the back and forth they were having. Right. But I think um, as it started to move on, I think some people maybe started to drift more t- towards Drake. Because of lot how he uh, maybe he had um, more songs where he was saying like little things here and there and attracted more people to to listening listen to me. I'm going at him every chance I get, mm-hmm. and then me kind of mm-hmm. lay low for whatever reason he has. So you're right. I think I think the the seesaw has tilted so much that like it's going to be difficult to probably get um, yeah. um people to start to come because it's not like Drake is you know it's not like he's saying a whack shit. No, no, no. That's you feel me? Me, like, me? Like I said, Meek was getting off on that shit. Meek I said was that. Definitely like, getting he was getting off. off on that shit. Like, My thing is, and his man. Yeah, I'm still niggas. listen. I still don't know. If he wrote this shit, like not like this is my thing. <laughs> my thing is this, bro. I'm a rapper. I'm rap, bro. I'm a rap nigga. I come from real life rap. Mm-hmm. You not about to let niggas write your raps and just be thinking like you could just go and say I'm the nicest rap nigga. And I'm not, you know, I'm. I don't know if he did, You're but a on, lot of indication. Yeah, yeah. A lot, it was just a lot of indication that that was the that 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 was the, the actual. Point like that happened. So what I'm saying is, I don't, I don't really, get, I can't give niggas props for saying some shit if you didn't write it. Like you know what I'm saying. In so, all fairness. In all fairness. Do you x yourself out of the the best the best they ever do at the goat conversation if there's a hint that you didn't write your own stuff? Oh. Well, uh, all right, so long. A hit. Hint. Hint. A hint. Write what? See, niggas write hooks. Mm-hmm. Cool. No, I'm your bars. Your, your, the your raps. Have, you're gone. There's no way in the I have an issue with that. I don't give a fuck. You're not going like. It's not like a nigga because like we we been around each other and we'll say some shit and we be like, I'm that's a, I'm a I'm gonna turn that into a line. You Just know what now. But we'll say Just we'll now. say like we have conversations and we be like, yo, I'm taking I'm turning that into a line. Mm-hmm. You feel me? As opposed to like, yo, a reference yeah. yeah, somebody you know, writing it and then you reciting saying. it. Like, I, I'm, I'm, and once again, like, I mean, I'm not, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Just to but answer hey, your question regarding hey, the situation, not so much the implic, you know, that he did it. Just 
I, I think if he did, he if if he did, I gotta be feeling understand how Meek feel, like cause it's like yo, like like yo shit is so crazy, like yo it's so corny <laughs> and like right now. Yeah, music. Like, yo, son, like, niggas look at the, like, real rap niggas, like, real rap niggas, like, we the, we the cornballs. To be honest, like, it's like, yo, y'all, y'all niggas is yeah. corny niggas. The fuck is y'all talking about? You understand what I'm like, saying? Yeah, like, like I'm talking about one, rap. Like, they like, what is this? Like, I always say, like, yo, one weirdo in the room, and 199 other niggas, they weirdo. 99 weirdos in the room, and one nigga has a real. Yeah. That nigga that's the real nigga is the weirdo. Right. So that's what that's the album is going to be like, is. I think. I, I, I think the album is going to be like the weirdo in the in 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 the, in the room. In this case, you know what I'm saying? In, in, in the sense of what you're speaking yeah, about. But I mean, because it's going to be different. It's going to be different saying, without. Like, niggas, niggas, when niggas come from what they come from, like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not even talking about, you know, niggas be saying street niggas, but, you know, niggas come from that in real life. So we grew up this way. We grew up a certain kind of way. We know a certain kind of talk. We know a certain kind of moral. We know a certain kind of code. We know, you know, so hearing, hearing that and, you know, just I just always root for niggas that come from that. And, yeah, that you know, background. they made it to where they, they made it. I think you know I do, I mean? too. Now, you know, Meek, you know, if 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 Drake and Meek, if the, like, you know, um, if Drake actually did write these rhymes and Meek, you know what I'm saying? How when it went from the first one, the the that first joint, he didn't win that first one. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I he he knows that he didn't win that first one. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, I'm talking about the I'm talking about with the records. Right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm talking about with the records. But you know, from everything after that, man, like it's like I think people just going way too far <laughs> about like this is going too far, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, um. I'm gonna step in. Niggas for a don't minute. give a nigga another chance. I'm like, a, I'm, 